thankfully, we can just walk out of here because we've gone from Maid Man Bishop to Maid Man Salvatore, but they both show up in our character sheet regardless. Even if Bishop's men will now shoot us on sight. <laughs> so you can kind of tell how this becomes an exploit pretty quickly. I have alcohol on me, so I can totally ruin Salvatore's scent. I thought I did, didn't I? I thought I had alcohol on me. Oh wait, no, he does have, an, he has some in his room. I left this here on purpose, <laughs> so I could just get him completely wasted and he won't be able to do anything about it. So, alcohol. I use rock gun on him. I use booze on him. I use booze on him again. And I gave him some beer. <laughs> Here, Salvatore, let me just get you a drink. Um, that's primarily just to completely destroy his, uh, his perception. But we'll talk to Mason really quick. He grunts. Hey there, silencer. Mr. Salvatore sent word of your promotion. Congrats. I got stuff for you. Let's see. He hands you an armload of items. Careful with that stuff. Take the items. He says, also, we Salvatores, we got a special understanding with Miss Kitty down at the cat's paw and Eldritch over at the weapon store and at Renesco's. Winks. Have fun. Thanks, Mason. Okay, this is that's the only time that Mason is nice to you, and I don't I don't know if he actually gives you anything. He might have given us like stim packs and energy cells or something, but I never I can never tell like what he actually gives you, if anything. I, he may have given us some money, but we're good on money. So now, now for the assassination for Boss Mordino, who we have to sneak into his casino to speak to him as well. Again, saving profusely. Pickpocket. And failed. We tried again. Pickpocket. Oh, he has money on him, too. I really want the money. Can I have the money? I took the money, too. <laughs> Thanks, Mount Salvatore. <laughs> I've stole the oxygen tank. So we walk back out. Walk out here. Now, we have to wait. It takes a very long time. Herk! Gasp, cough, I wheeze. No, I her help, gasp, please. Have mercy. Wheeze. I I stops breathing. And we leave. <laughs> <laughs> you have assassinated Boss Salvatore. You gained 2,000 experience points. Okay. So the most tedious one, one of the most tedious ones is done. This one here is a bit of a pain too. Alright, so I just realized that my charisma is still a bit nerfed. So we're going to rest probably... 24 hours? Hopefully it only takes 24 hours. Okay. Okay. A little over 24 hours. To get our charisma back. Because I just tried this and Big Jesus just waved me away after, you know, saying I completed the mission for him. So we're going to try this again. <laughs> I'm just going to combat run. All the way up to Mordino's face. Cause this this is this is the way to do it. This is the way we have to do it. It's eleven. Just holding down the combat button. Okay. And then we can get to here. And then it is here where we'll use a dose of Mentats on ourself. And then hopefully have enough charisma once we reach Senor Mordino. A bead of sweat trickles down the side of Mordino's face. You have done as I asked. Luis Salvatore is dead. He is dead. Your family is avenged, Senor Mordino. He says, so I have heard, nods respectfully. You have done well. 
My faith in you is not misplaced. Here is your payment. 500 chips and armor and a weapon you may find useful. Thanks. Nods. Your success pleases me. I would welcome you into Fam Mordino, clasps your shoulders. Will you join our family? Your strength shall be our strength. Big Jesus says that is good. Do you have a name by which you wish to be called? All Mordinos, all Reno shall know this name. I'm going to pick Lucky, because I'm feeling pretty lucky right now. <laughs> that is a good name, nods. The Mordino name has weight in New Reno. Visit the Cat's Paw, New Reno Arms, and tell them you are of my family. They will treat you well. Thank you, Senor Mordino. Now we can just waltz out of here like nothing happened. <laughs> like we didn't just combat run past two, two sets of bodyguards, soon to be three. <laughs> to speak to the boss in a safe manner. Um, if your sneak skill is high enough, you can do it. I believe you can do it that way as well. Um, with um, the silent running perk. But if your sneak skill is not high enough and you're not investing to that level, then you can do it that way. So now, finally, we have the right family to become made band with. And this one, this one is interesting. This one, you want to wait. I believe you want to wait until evening where all the kids go inside. Because the kids count as a means of alerting, too, I believe. So we'll go till midnight. Okay, all the kids are going inside and passing out. It's actually kind of hilarious. They just fall on the floor <laughs> next to the beds. <laughs> if you're paying attention. Some of them got stuck. I'm going to walk away and walk back in. <laughs> see if that fixes it. Or see if they'll they'll be where they're supposed to be. Let me go back in. Uh, Yep, yep, okay. They're going where they're supposed to. So, only guys we got to worry about are the ones out front and Keith and possibly one of the right sons right here. I believe. Let's try the sneaking method. We're not, like I said, we're not super sneaky, but we can try doing it this way first. Just, just to see. But my, my, I don't have silent running, so I'm going to be sneaking like this. It's one of the Modino family sneaking around. Call the others. Yeah. So that, that didn't go well. One more time. One more time. Get, get up here. Start combat. Through the door. Here we go. We're through the door. End combat. Start combat again. Get over here. End combat. Start combat again. Then, this is where, this is where it gets tricky. Open the door. Sneak and combat. Speak to Orville Wright. There we go. <laughs> he says, oh, it's you. Got some good news for me? You find a way to the army base? Yes. I managed to get inside and found a lot of old weapons and military hardware there. It's all there for the taking. Now, about my payment. His eyes gleam. You done good, Kato. Now, go to Cat's Paw and New Reno Arms. Tell them you're from me, and they'll set you up. Your family now. A made man. And all New Reno's gonna know it. Thanks, Mr. Wright. If I'm a made man, then I'd like to be called. I think King suits us pretty well after successfully becoming <laughs> made man for each. He says, King, I like it. I like it. It's got style. Now you stop on by the Cat's Paw New Reno Arms and they'll be and they'll take care of you. You need free hooch? Head on by the train station too. I'll set you up. Thanks. I'll do that. Okay. So we've done it. Now, on our character sheet, it displays Maid Man, Salvatore, Bishop, Mordino, and Wright. It, not in the order that we did it, though. <laughs> so, just for everybody else, if, if you're trying to follow along and want to become Maid Man with all New Reno families, it's Bishop, then Salvatore, then Mordino, then Wright. That's the order we did it to, to complete 
completing the quests, that is. So, we've, we did it. We became made man with all four families. That was like the, the, the last big thing to check off the list of things to do in this playthrough. So now we can, I don't know, just kind of do whatever. <laughs> uh, I need to find my car again. Um, now we need to speak with Father Tully. If he's awake. So we'll go to commercial row. Oh, Father Tully. Are you alive? You are. You're awake, sir. Father Tully. Do we have hooch on us? Oh, he gave us some, some equipment, too. I don't need the equipment, though. Sulik. I will take that alcohol, and you take... <laughs> I made a mistake just now. I don't want to give, don't want to give Sulik the SMG. <laughs> Father Tully, he says very drunkenly. Greetings, my son. Was Father Tully do for you, son? It's fine new day. day. Uh, it's actually nighttime, Father. He says, heck, I must have overslept. Would have noticed otherwise. What the heck was I saying? Who are you? He says, Father Tully, at your service. I'm spiritual advisor, good p Well, to the people of New Reno. Is being drunk the only way you can accomplish that? He says, certainly not. In the past, I was known to indulge in the spirits with the temperance union. Uh, help me break the filthy habit. The temper. He says, now I'm going to be straight and narrow thanks to Mrs. Wright, bless her soul. I've been clean for almost a uh, month? Or was it a week? Ah, uh, heck, I don't know. Dry as sand, huh? How many fingers am I holding up? Stares at your hand. Is that, is that six or is it three? Very good. Both of those are right. Say, I had some questions. <laughs> questions? I can't say I know too much about them, but asked away. Can you tell me a little bit about New Reno? Father Tully says, well, Reno is, well, it's, well, um, say, yes. Pardon me for asking, but do you happen to have a little on you? I need some for the services and eh, my throat's a little dry. Sure, here you go. He says, ah, thank you kindly. Takes a bottle, takes a swig. Ah, sorry, what the heck was I talking about? You were talking about family right. He says, heh heh, right, eh? Smiles, wiggles eyebrows. Let me tell you a little something about the rights. They're a split bunch of horny drunks and stone fast Puritans they are. Oh, really? He says, those rights just keep squeezing out kids. Oh, Orville Wright must want to repopulate the world. Hope Mrs. Wright can take the strain. <laughs> and the things they say in the confessional. Oh, really? What does Mrs. Wright say in the confessional? Ethel Wright. That blessed woman keeps me off the drink and straight and narrow takes a swig. <laughs> she can drive the sin out of you, she can. Uh, but the heck was I saying about Mrs. Wright in the confessional? He says, all oh, right, right. Well, uh, in the confessional, she ain't got much to say. Most of you go about stepping on bugs or about, or about enjoying relations with her hubby too much. <laughs> it takes a swig. I love guilt. I had some other questions about the rights. What is the right family control in New Reno? He says, nothing takes a drink. They're the weakest of the families because they only brew alcohol. Barely turn a cent they do. The other families buy alcohol off of them mostly out of pity. Where does this alcohol come from? Tully tells all. <laughs> Here's the funny bit. You see, old Mr. Wright promised the missus he'd quit alcohol biz, but he has a secret still at the train station behind the house. Ha! <laughs> She'll be him uglier than he is if she finds it. A secret still at the train station behind the house, huh? Okay, I can ask him about the temperance union. He says, temperance union, Mrs. Wright, same person, trying to clean up New Reno. Done a pretty good job with me. Sure has. As for the questions. Maybe I'll come back when you're a little drier. Okay. I think I've got all the information I need to speak to Mrs. Wright. Um, I need to convince her that there are there is a distillery in the train station underneath it. And then smash them. <laughs> so we'll go back to the east side and then speak to Mrs. Wright. Because now we can we can freely, you know, walk in here without getting shot at, because we're not a Mordino dog. We are a right um rum rumble rumbler a right uh guy <laughs> speak to mrs right she jumps oh my you gave me quite a fright squints okay normal intro uh your husband is head of family right correct 
She says, why, yes, yes, he is. Squints at you again. I'm sorry. Do you know my husband? Not personally, but I do know the rights control the distribution of alcohol in New Reno. She frowns. Now, what is this foolishness you're speaking of? Alcohol distribution in New Reno? I know my husband is inclined to drink, but he is breaking the habit, along with breaking the legs of anyone who gets in the way of his little alcohol empire. She says, why, my goodness, of all the cheek, takes deep breath. That is a very serious accusation, young man. I realize that, but puffs up. Perhaps it is standard practice in your tribes to slander others in public, but here in New Rio, you have some sand coming up to me in public and speaking ill of my husband. Look, all I'm saying is, she says, no, you look. It's no secret that in the past, my husband had a private still in the city. Nonetheless, he swore that it is for his use only, and at my request, he has dismantled it. Oh, really? Well, maybe you... She interrupts. Furthermore, he has resolved to help me and any other unfortunates reliant on alcohol to break the habit. Shameful to even suggest my husband was selling the alcohol to others is... Well, completely true, Mrs. Wright. Your husband is selling alcohol here in New Reno and promoting drunkenness. It is making the city a worse place to live. Help me, and we can put an end to this whole nasty business. She frowns, puts her hands on her hips. I will look into it, you can rest assured. And if I find that you're wrong, you had best leave this town. Meet me at the church tomorrow morning, and we will speak again. All right, I will. See you then. Okay. I don't think we needed to speak to Father Tully. I think we should have just spoken to uh, Mrs. Wright. So. Did I, did I say Miss, Mrs. I said Mrs. Wright, right? Father Tully, Mrs. Wright. Did I? Uh, I hope I did. <laughs> Let's fast travel to the commercial row and speak to her. Is she gonna pop in and say hello? There's Father Tully. Oh, he's fallen over. <laughs> Probably thanks to the alcohol that I gave him. Wait until morning. Here comes, here comes Ethel sauntering over. Meeting us in front of the church, near Father Tully. Come on, lady! I ain't got all day! We got stills to break down! We got an army base to destroy! Man, I don't know if I want to do the army base just yet. There's a lot. There's a lot there. <laughs> a lot of robotic enemy types over there. Maybe we'll do the ar the... No! We have the raiders to do still. Not, not to do, to kill. <laughs> we must kill the raiders. Okay, let's speak to Ethel. She's about to be real disappointed. You see Mrs. Wright, she looks crushed. Uh, Ethel, are you okay? She says, all true. Everything you said is true. Sighs. The still was not dismantled. Not at all. Frowns. I trusted that man, but alcohol made him lie to me. Lie to his own wife. Let her vent. She smolders. I will make him keep the promise he made. If I have to destroy that still with my own hands, then Orville and I will have words. We'll see what that little weasel says then. No. Uh, let me handle it. It's beneath the train station, right? I'll take care of it. She says, you will destroy it? I, well, all right. Builds up steam. Tear it down. Wreck it. Leave nothing. All right. She calms back down for a second. W but now, I don't want you to hurt any of my children. No waving guns. They're not bad children. They've just been misled. I'll have to see what I can do to change that. Okay, don't worry. There will be no casualties. No casualties whatsoever. <laughs> so, we walk back outside. Out we go. And over to the east side once again. And now, we can freely walk into the distillery, but I, I'm wondering if it does start combat or not. Like, once we, uh, like, start breaking stuff. So, we'll see. I can't remember what kind of skill I need either. Oh, you can sneak back behind them! I forgot about that. Can I hit them? No. I forgot what I'm supposed to do here. Is it the the repair skill? You gain 500 experience points. That grinds to a halt. It looks irreparable. 
You cannot repair that. Oh, that... All of them. They've all been broken. Okay. Let's just walk away. I guess that was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Why is everyone in my way? Special thanks to my Wasteland Legends, Sven and David Hoover, and thanks to the rest of my patrons on screen now. You can catch future episodes of this playthrough on Wednesdays and Fridays, noon and 10am Pacific. Thanks for watching, I'm Kato Genesis, and may you wander the wasteland like you own it.